Welcome everyone, five minutes of faith and fitness. In God's word today, we are going to see how we can get flexible. How what does mobility look like in your in your life? Like what does that even mean? I mean, when we say, um, "Are you flexible?" Most people are like, "Yeah, I can touch my toes, or I can put my hand on my head." But being flexible physically, being flexible spiritually, uh, requires some things. I mean, it's painful. Being in positions of being mobile, right? Like sitting in the couch position, sitting in a hamstring uh, lizard position, whatever that position you have to sit in for the tissue to start to make change, right? The fascia. Um, it's not just a, a 30 second, a, a, a 10 second. It's two, three, four minutes, even five minutes. And it's painful. And I think spiritually as well, there's some painful mobility pieces to get us to kind of move into those areas where God wants to move us into. It's painful. We, we, we get comfortable. We get comfortable with the comfort. We get comfortable with the things that we like doing, our same routine. And you get us out of our comfort zone, it's like, mm, no, I like this over here in this living room here. Don't bring me into the backyard over there. Uh, so we, we see that. We like the end result of it, but we don't like the challenge. Inflexibility, it is challenging. Like if you are going to develop doing the splits, like there's a routine you have to, not everyone wants to do the splits, but hey, the your hamstrings and your groins and to get them to kind of your legs to move in this outward position and holding them or even just holding an air squat. It's challenging and it requires Effort, right? Effort, everyday effort. Um, and sometimes we don't mobilize until something really happens, like in our life, like we get injured. And on the battlefield, spiritually too, we don't mobilize and we don't listen to being mobile to what God's telling us to do until we get injured on the battlefield, right? Like, like there is something tragic to going on in our life and then we listen and we do it just for a little bit and then we go back to our own ways is that same thing in the spirit in the physical like you get hurt shoulder injury wrist injury whatever it may be the therapist gives you you know these workouts to do these stretches to do and they're so boring right like who's going to see results with me just lifting a little band up and down like we have to get you healthy we have to start with some of the basics to get you back to that and so we want the shiny things so we know that it's painful. We know it's challenging. We know it takes effort. We know that it is, uh, it requires a lot of, of change. Change of getting out of our comfort zone, right? Like, what, like we talked about. And that's tough. And that's tough. We talked about that we have um, our routine of what we want to do. And sometimes we don't, we don't see the benefit right away, but months and years of continuing to get flexible and focus on that one thing that you're called to do. And when you do that, you're gonna see tremendous results, right? And it requires stretching. Um, if you're not stretching yourself daily, right? And having that stretching routine, daily then it's you just kind of do it whenever you think it's beneficial but i tell i'm speaking of this because i have the same problem <laughs> you know i haven't mastered this but when i do set into this mobility routine it makes everything so much easier and so when we are uh hearing god tell us to be flexible at certain things and and, and we just kind of ignore it ignore it, ignore it. Well, we're going to kind of live with the consequences because we're not going to see the fruit of it. But when we, when we listen and we apply these certain strategies that God is telling us to do, like pick up our Bible maybe and just open it up and read it, right? Like in the morning, before you leave the house, let's get flexible and just open up God's word and see what it says today. 
And as he speaks through his word, he's going to give you these in, this instruction to handle your day. Is it always the perfect? No, but there's always a story behind how he's stretching you, how he's keeping you mobile and keeping your eyes, not just holding on tightly to the things that 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 we we want to grab and like no this is my way hold on loosely he wants to he wants to stretch you he wants to bring you into this routine of growing closer to him and as we grow closer to the lord you'll start to see this fashion change you start to see the flexibility change and all of a sudden one month one year two five six years and you go, wow, I've made some improvements. I didn't have this mobility before. And all of a sudden, you'll see that your strength is a great parallel to your uh, mobility. Mobility equals strength. We talk about it all the time at Fit to Serve. And so a lot of times, we can lift something off the ground, and we're very strong. But in order to get in certain positions like an overhead squat with just a PVC pipe, you can see right away the immobile parts of your body. A coach just has to glance at what is it ankles, is it knees, is it hips, is it shoulders, thoracic spine. What is it? And now we have to work on that piece. Wow, is that tedious? <laughs> yeah, but you know what? You get out of that routine and you do something to go even heavier and you know you have limits, limitations, and you don't take care of it, you're going to back on your back, injured again. And so we do that, getting on the battlefield with the Lord. So stay mobile, stay connected to uh, what areas need to be mobilized so we could go out there and be stronger and stronger and stronger. doesn't matter how old you are doesn't matter how young you are, right? It, it matters of uh, how responsive the tissue, how responsive is, is, the, is the heart tissue of, of listening to what God is trying to tell you to do so you can be molded and stretched into his image. Guys, mobility, there's so much as you dig into it. And it's right behind nutrition. As we, we talked about, nutrition is the bottom foundation pillar and right behind it is mobility. Um, without those two, it's like, how do you go further in your fitness routine? How do you go further in your, your spiritual routine? We need to be flexible in, in all areas of life. Don't hold on too tight. God wants to move you. He wants to use you. Listen to that still small voice. God bless.